Hi everyone, Bernard here. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the film and TV channel. We have a movie review today. A, a bit of a blockbuster, although the budget's only about 55 million, which isn't much these days, is it? 55 million dollars. You don't get much for that these days. You get a, a couple of episodes of a, of a season on telly of something something big costs that much, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, so. But it is a film I sort of look forward to. Um, I'm going to have a look at a film called Mortal Kombat today. Please, if you're new to this channel, push that subscribe button. Push the bell notifications. I try and inform and entertain and give you some information on these films as well as my own little views on it as well as everybody else's. Just summarise what people are saying. And please, if you check my playlist, there's lots of uh, film reviews, TV drama reviews, information vlogs. And you'll also see some stuff on my football team as well, Manchester City. So if that's of any interest, have a look. If it's not, don't worry. There's loads of film and TV stuff. Or perhaps if you know somebody who might be interested, please point them in my direction. I do lots of different things on my football team, Manchester City as well. And if you're after any friends or followers, if you're new to Twitter or Facebook, or you just want some more friends and followers, uh, check the links on screen I do follow I do follow and friend everyone back I check every two or three days and follow and friend everyone back on there all comments are welcome on this Mortal Kombat or anything to do with movies it doesn't matter what it is but uh, let me know what you think as I say there's be a lot of fans of the game out there but uh, I'll talk about that in a bit uh, my, my uh, sort of um, go goals at this is that when I was a bit younger uh, it's not something I've played recently on any format to be honest with you and please if uh, if you haven't got time for a comment you can just give us a thumbs up that's great it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up as well right Mortal Kombat yeah a budget of 55 million dollars what do you get for that well it's about an hour and 45 minutes uh, probably about an hour and 38 run time something like that it is a restricted an R rating in the US and it certainly will be an 18 rating here in the UK although obviously the cinemas haven't reopened as yet uh, it's of course an American martial arts fantasy film directed by Simon McCoy is it is that how you pronounce it this is his feature directorial debut it was okay for a for a debut, I suppose. Screenplay by Greg Russo and Dave Callahan, and a story by Russo and Aaron Uziel. It is based on the video game, of course. Franchise. There's been a few films, uh, TV series, animations, etc., etc. None, none overly successful, but yeah, I quite like by some of the fans. I think even going back to the '90s uh, original version. I mean, some people do like it. I mean, some people panned it, but some people do like it. It wasn't a total disaster. I think it scored um, about 5.8 the original Mortal Kombat. So that's not not great, but it's not not a total disaster either. And it's a game franchise, of course, created by Ed Boon and John Tobias, serving as a reboot to the Mortal Kombat film series. Yeah, it was initially meant to be three, wasn't it? But they give up on the third one after the uh, the Mortal Kombat Annihilation, wasn't it? Didn't do very, very well. Uh, it was released in the United States on April the 23rd and was simultaneously in theatres, in 3D and on HBO Max streaming service. So there you go. So if you're in the US, you probably know about that. But in the UK... Uh, um, there's nothing nothing as such as yet as I said the theatres aren't open yet so we can, we don't have that but uh, obviously HBO stuff like this you can get it on various streaming sites at the moment yeah and what's it about well MMA fighter Cole Young seeks out Earth's greatest champions of course he does in order to stand against the enemies of Outworld in the high stakes battle for the universe yes we're still battling away for this universe a, a myriad of uh, actors uh, I'll just run through these as quickly as I can if I get the names wrong my apologies Lewis Tan is Cole Young Jessica McNamee is Sonya Blade Josh Lawson as Kano Tadanabu Asano as Lord Raiden Mechad Brooks as Jax Ludi Lin as Liu Kang Chin Han as Shang Tsung Joe Taslim as Bihan on Stroke Sub Zero, Hiroku Sanada as Henzo Hasashi Stroke Scorpion, Max Wang as Kung Lao, Sissy Stringer as Melina, Matilda Kimber as Emily, Laura Brent as Allison. These are easier to do, aren't they? Daniel Nelson as Cabal. That's the action and stunts. Daniel Nelson. Uh, da Damon Herriman is Cabal's voice. Uh, Angus Sampson as Goro's voice, uh, Nathan Jones as Rico, Mel Janssen as Niatara Niatara. 
So there you go. I don't know. I probably got half of them wrong, but my apologies. Yeah, I had a quick look at the trailer. You know me, I usually look at the trailers after I've watched a film because I don't want to uh, get too giddy and I have high ex expectations. But uh, yeah, I give the trailer 7 out of 10. I thought the trailer was very, very good. And it did sort of false me into a, uh, lull me into a false sense of security. There was a bit, 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 of, a bit of a story to it or a... Well, there is a story to it, but I probably thought there might be a bit better story to it, but a bit, bit more on that anyway. What are the other people saying? What are the other critics sites saying? I mean, Rotten Tomatoes, 199 uh, critics' reviews and scores left. 55% positivity, not fantastic. Averaging 5.6 out of 10. And the actual consensus reads... Uh, uh, for fans of the, largely for fans of the source material, but far from fatality flawed. There you go, a bit of a play on words there. Mortal Kombat revives the franchise in appropriate violent fashion. It does. I quite like the violence at the start, but again, more on that in a moment. Hundred and nine fresh. And 90 rotten, so almost split down the middle, aren't we there? But the audience like it. There's a lot of audience scores left, uh, over 2,500. I think the Mortal Kombat fans have been out in uh, in force, and it's getting an 87% positivity rating with the audience. So there you go, the critics are sort of having a down at the audience. is a bit more impressed. Metacritic, the other critics like to look at, sign the film an average of 44 out of 100. Not great, is it? On 40 critics and just 8 positive reviews, 23 mixed and 9 negative as I'm doing this uh, little vlog. Uh, 20, 20 to 75 out of 100. That's what the range, the range is of the scores from the critics. So as low as 20 and as high as 75. Uh, the Guardian's Benjamin Lee only gave it 4 out of 10. He didn't, he didn't like it very much. He said, A silly and dated new attempt to transport the classic fighting game to the big screen is a late night drunk watch at best. Well, I wasn't drunk when I watched it, but hey, there you go. Uh, Chicago Sometimes is Richard Rupert. Uh, five out of ten, so a little bit better. This is unapologetically violent video game turned movie, filled with gore and also brimming with flat dialogue. Whether it's a big picture speechifying or mostly lame attempts at snappy action moving banter, yeah, I agree with that. One might reasonably surmise long-time fans of Mortal Kombat with a better time playing the latest version of the game than watching the origin story. Well, perhaps we're playing the game while we're watching the origin story perhaps he killed two birds with one story it's probably passable then to be honest with you uh, new york post johnny Oleksinski, well he liked it he gave it seven and a half out of ten and said the action film is unpretentious is as unpretentious as charlie sheen eating a crispy cream donut at six flags there you go i have no i know who charlie sheen is i think i know what a crispy cream donut is i have no idea what six flags is i'm sure it's more you you guys do watching in the u.s will know a little bit more about that and he went on to say in short blissfully dumb entertainment there you go from the new york post the audience, yeah, the Metacritic audience, again, they, they liked it more than the critics. Uh, 6.4 average based on uh, just under 700 review uh, scores left on the audience rated on Metacritic. So if we go into an internet movie database where we have a look, Joe Public, get uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews. 58,910 as I'm doing this vlog. And it's averaging, yes, it's done it. It's broke through the watchable barrier of 6.3 out of 10. So that's not too shabby. That's, that's quite good. That's certainly better than the original got. Um, but we do have negatives, obviously. One negative was Tony Valentino on the 20th of April, 28th of April 2021. He said, how do you mess this up, he said, with uh, a 3 out of 10 score. He went on to say, the move was more concerned with setting up a franchise and telling an entertaining story. Yeah, I've heard that, heard that argument quite a few times when I've been looking through the reviews. Uh, he, got, he carries on. The violence was great when it was there, but for long stretches, I was bored. In a Mortal Kombat movie, bored? How do you mess up a movie about a martial arts tournament with supernatural powers? They didn't even have a tournament. Long stretches of people talking about finding their powers boring. And I'm down for a higher blow serious reboot if it works. This does not work. They didn't even try to make it work. It was obviously written as a PG-13 team movie. It was a bit graphic for that in parts. I made the decision to make it an R afterwards. Yeah, that's when they put the graphic bits back in. Rather than making the plot mode adult they added blood it's awful there you go seriously rent the original this is the way so he did like the original a waste of money time and an opportunity re to reboot this franchise so he didn't like it but veracle 
the VYRK girl on the 28th of April 2021. Light, fun, shallow, 7 out of 10. Bring me some nostalgia, exclamation mark. The worst and the best was Kano. He's horrible and hilarious. They got people for their looks and martial arts abilities, but not for their acting. It came out as empty and wooden. I've seen worse. Some characters were amazing. The less wordy their characters, the more easily cool they could be. I love that this wasn't a soft version of Mortal Kombat. The fatalities were epic, they were. Some tongue-in-cheek jokes showed it didn't take itself too seriously. Well, were they jokes? Oh, I must have missed. Uh, it felt flat a lot, and then the action was too much. But some of it made me want to train again, and I kept waiting to get excited about fight scenes, some of which were amazing. There are beautiful pockets of wonderful in this, even if it was flat on the substance level. It's fairly typical of an action move, but there were some glorious times, worth seeing if just for the playfulness. There you go. Yeah, I mean, there's elements of that I, I quite agree with. So, as I say, um, my little thoughts on this. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going I'm going back 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 in time to the original Mortal Kombat. Would it have been on the? Um, oh, would it have probably been on the Spectrum or Commodore or something? I think I'm going back to the day of that sort of thing. And I was never very good at fighting things anyway, and certainly in the arcades, I might have had a quick go and. Put me 20p in at a time, whatever it was, and lasted about 10 seconds. So yeah, I usually get beat up. So yeah, it's not it's not something I've really appeared. I like I like the style. I do like I do like the uh, the format of it, but uh, it's not something that's very very good at as as far as a gameplay is concerned. Uh, like my games, though, I do like a bit of a story. Don't I mean like my films? I do like a bit of a story to it. So it was a little bit of trepidation I approached this because I didn't want a hundred minutes of uh, just fighting with no real backstory. Uh, but as I said, the trailer did sort of promise a little bit of a story, but sadly it never really developed that much on film. There's little elements of it, but uh, not really enough to interest me that much about it. And I thought the first 10 minutes of the film was absolutely excellent. I mean, I would give the first 10 minutes of the film probably an 8 or 9 out of 10, to be honest with you. I thought it was absolutely superb. It dragged me in, unfortunately, after probably within the next uh, 20, 30 minutes, it, was, it all became a bit samey for me, unfortunately. Uh, but some of the actual deaths, etc., and the actual CGI and the, the effects were absolutely brilliant. As I say, that first 10 minutes, if I, stopped, if I fell asleep then, I would have thought it was a cracking film. Uh, and I wasn't really expecting that. So, uh, as I said, I did give it time, and it never quite lived up to that that uh, that first section. And some people, did, I heard, I read a comment early on about they said the, the start and the finish. I thought the finish was okay, but I say that that first first part of the film was excellent in my opinion. I mean, there are attempts, as someone's mentioned there, about tongue in cheek humour, didn't they? But. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty painful to watch and listen to, to be honest with you, with some of the characters. Uh, the fight scenes, yeah, as I said, exclude that first one, which was tremendous. Uh, a pretty mixed bag, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, as far as smoothness in the fights, occasionally it works perfectly. Sometimes you can see the join, if you like. You can see, see where it's not quite quite worked acting is okay i didn't think it was that bad for for a, a film like this uh, but sadly none of there's a lot of characters thrown at you good and bad and obviously none of the real characters really appealed to me so uh, it's one of those things i wasn't that bothered uh, whether the whether the good guys came out on top or not to be honest with you which is a shame i didn't there wasn't enough chemistry or or interest for me in in any of the characters uh, we didn't get to see them develop enough or know the backstory too much of them so as I say, there was obviously one main character in it, but I didn't really care that much what happened to his family. Or <laughs> you know, it's such a shame, isn't it? You should be, you should be caring about what's happened to his daughter or his his uh, his partner, etc. But uh, it didn't really work for me, to be honest with you. I mean, the hour and forty minutes went by quickly enough. So it wasn't a total waste of time. I certainly wasn't bored. Someone said they were bored before. Well, I wasn't bored. I mean, I got a bit bored because obviously there's a lot of fighting in it, but that's that's what it's about. It's Mortal Kombat. I knew exactly what I was uh, signing up for, so I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, yeah, reading the reviews, most fans seem to be okay with it, which which is how it should be. If you're a more, you know, you're a Mortal Kombat fan, it's... it's it is what it is, and you like it. That's that's fair enough. I mean, there's some disappointed, but I think I think a lot of the people who like the originals, which obviously, as I said, was a pretty mixed bag of uh, reviews on those, weren't they? Were were sort of quite happy with this, and I think it's the fact you've seen the characters, isn't it, rather than anything else. So. 
I think that's what it's all about as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a, I'm not a particular fan, so uh, but I think if you are a fan, you might think it's all right. As I said, I was I was a bit disappointed overall with it. Uh, but having said that, it was a bit better than I thought it would be, so I was sort of quite happy with that. So I am going to give it my a little bit down on Internet Movie Database there, but I'm certainly going to give it a watchable rating because I don't think it was a, a disaster. Uh, obviously, there may be sequels. Who knows? As I say it depends how this does, but uh, obviously, if it's cost 55 million it's got to probably make about 170 million back hasn't it just to break even with the promotion and all the other sides of it i think they say about three times the budget now to make uh, make anything back so they might struggle but uh, you never know you never know so, so certainly if it's shown in the theaters here in the uk i'm not too sure as i say we've got a, a month uh, uh, sorry about three weeks to go now between now and the theaters reopening so be interesting to see anyway yeah so i'll give it a six out of ten and a quick look at the posters yeah i like the poster i mean I'll, you can't really go wrong with these sort of game posters can you i think i think the posters are excellent so uh as with the trailer which i give a seven out of ten for i'll give the trailer a seven out of ten as i said uh, a bit earlier on i'm gonna give the posters a seven out of ten so sadly the film not quite as good i mean i might have edged that up to 6.5 on the film but uh, as i say i think six is fair because i said it's, it's it's perhaps for me it could have been a little bit a little bit better story but uh, hey for 55 million it's nothing is it 55 million dollars I, th I thought they did an okay job with this 55 million dollars i thought it'd be a lot more expensive to be honest with you anyway let me know if you get to watch this let me know what you think or if you're going to watch it on a big screen at some stage as i say we're a bit uh, in the here in the uk it's uh, we're not quite i'm not quite sure at what what level it's going to be shown whether it's just the streaming sites or whether there will be a theatrical release for it as, as there has been in the u.s Anyway, let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Where are we going to do this state? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Till we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps you have a flit across look at my football channel, my Citizen channel. Whatever it is, all I ever ask of you is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.